today I thought I would answer the number one question that I get when people find out I live on my boat, and that is the question, aren't you cold? This is a Newport Dickinson propane wall furnace. It's mounted to the forward bulkhead in the main cabin area. It's vented out through this pipe and it has on the top side a nice little low profile cover. It's a really easy unit to operate. It has a off, low and high setting for the propane it has a variable fan which triples the output from according to the manual and personal experience I say that's probably quite accurate and what I will do is uh, just give a quick little demo of how this unit works so the first thing you do is open the door I've got my lighter here I push the knob in and turn it to low. You have to hold the knob down. And I do this for about five or six seconds. And then I can close the door. And I seal it. And I'm still holding the knob down for another five or six seconds at this point. I can release it. And I'm just on the low setting now. So just turn it to high. And the flame will be a bit blue to start. But after uh, a few minutes, uh, five or six minutes I guess, it will uh, be more of an orange flame. And it doesn't take too long to actually start throwing some good heat. So here's how I monitor the temperature in the cabin and outside the cabin. You can see it's 22.4 degrees inside right now, which is pretty warm for my, my liking. That's just because I've had that heater running. The remote sensor is telling me it's 18 and a half degrees. This is all in Celsius. That's in the cockpit. I have a full enclosure in the cockpit so it stays fairly warm in there and dry. And you can see that's number 62, that's the humidity inside the boat. So that's how I monitor uh, the dampness in here and you can see, I don't think 62 is too high. It doesn't f ever feel damp in here. So here's my little space heater. It's quite small and it fits under the bottom step of my companionway stairs and it just runs on AC it's got a thermostat on it so I can turn it up so that it'll kick on it throws a lot of heat for such a small unit and on that thermostat it'll just kick on and off once uh, it's reached the desired temperature in the cabin so this is what I mostly use. Let's turn it down. You can see uh, over here, this is my bus heater. So this runs off the diesel engine. So when I'm cruising, I can uh, use that. Usually the last 40 minutes or so during winter cruising, I will run the engine and just motor the last little bit until I'm anchored or at the dock and I'll turn the the bus heater on. It has just two fan settings. It has low and then high. And my diesel engine is freshwater cooled which allows me to have a heater. So it works just like a car heater. So this is about 10 minutes later. You can see the flame is uh, a little more orange and I'll just show you the how the fan works just turn it on and right away I feel lots of heat coming out of here you can turn the fan up it actually increase the flame size 
that right away I, I can feel all that heat and I'm sitting probably three feet from the, the stove. I usually have the fan running a bit lower like this so it's not as, quite as noisy. <clears throat> and then you can turn it off. And to turn off the stove, the wall furnace, is quite easy. You just push the knob back in and turn it to the off position and then I'll go outside and turn off the uh, propane tank and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the little uh, demo of how the stove works and I hope I answered the question for everyone that I'm not actually cold living on a boat. <laughs>